Well, we are rolling into the weekend with Fine Arts Friday. When you think of the South Carolina New Play Fest, you probably think of Broadway or Cabaret, but what about a yo-yo show? We're going to learn the tricks of the trade for a different type of entertainment. Joining me now is Brian. Thank you so much for stopping in. Hey, thanks so much for having me today. I'm so excited because I know you're going to do some shows in Greenville this weekend. But for starters, when did you first learn how to do the yo-yo? Yeah, so I was 10 years old uh, and uh, I saw this commercial on TV. I saw all of these kids doing these tricks like I'd never seen before. Like this one's called the Boingy Boing. Oh my gosh. This one's called the uh, Mach 5. Woo! I'm already so impressed. Oh my goodness. And from there is pretty much history. I uh, learned a ton of tricks. <laughs> I joined a yo-yo team, traveled the country competing at yo-yo contests, and then uh, I got into the theater. And so in the past five years, I've combined those two art forms into my yo-yo show. Sounds like the recipe for success in my opinion. I'm already very blown away by what you're doing. And I know you are going to do some shows in Greenville this weekend. Tell me all about it. Absolutely. As part of the uh, South Carolina New Play Fest, um, we're doing a variety arts stage out in uh, Falls Park. So we have this uh, whole variety arts stage set up. Uh, we have three different artists coming to do the shows. I'm the uh, New York Yo-Yo Show. We also have uh, the Real McCoy Show. He's a uh, real fun juggler who uh, does a comedy show. Also Street Circus. They do a lot of hand balancing, juggling as well, seer wheel, really cool stuff. And so we're going to be alternating from 3 to 8 p.m. on okay. Saturday and Sunday. What I love about this too is I know a lot of the plays and musicals are kind of sold out, but what's great about your shows is you don't need tickets. So yeah, you can completely all still free. Go see these outside. I think it's going to be good weather. All right, I, uh, you're going to teach me something? Sounds good. All right, what are we going to learn today? Now, we're going to learn uh, first the basic yo-yo throw just to get you started. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see all of those fingers with the hand you want to use. Okay, if I'm right-handed, is this the one that I should use? That's the one. Okay, got so it. So let's see all those fingers. I'm going to put this yo-yo right around that middle finger of yours. You guys, I'm very nervous that I'm going to mess this up. Hey, you're going to be great. <laughs> okay. Awesome, awesome. So, going to start with a big yo-yo muscle. Looks just like that. Okay. Awesome. Got it. Great. Now, we're going to throw that yo-yo with the palm facing up. Let's watch first. Just like that. Okay. Then we're going to turn that hand over, give it a tug. Should come right back to the hand. Okay. Can Let's, you do it one more time? Sounds good. Here we go. <laughs> hand up. Hand up. Hand down. And we're going to tug it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hand up. Hand down. Give it a tug. Oh. Oh! I First like, try. I think I kind of did it. You it absolutely nice did it. You're yours. amazing. You're amazing. Do you want to learn one more? Yeah, let's do it. Great. This is called Around the World. Looks just like this. Oh, my goodness. Yes. So it's going to start with a fist bump. Okay. Yeah. Well, first off, we got to make sure that's all wound up yeah, yeah, for yeah. you. Okay, so I got my fist Safety bump. Safety first. Fist bump out behind your leg. And okay. now, all right, we don't want to get these monitors. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Let's, uh, let's turn profile for us. Okay. And we're going to throw that yo-yo downwards and outwards. We're going to swing it in one circle, bring it back with the palm facing up, just like this. Just like I that. don't know if I'm going to get this one. I think you got Let's this. Throw one more time. Here. Fist bump behind the leg. Now throw down and out, around in a circle, catch with the palm up. Okay, I'm going to try it. Catching right. it this way. We I'm going to go like this. Yeah. Mm, I don't know if oh, I got that was that amazing. One. <laughs> That's another trick called the outside loop right there. Oh, I was just, I'm such an advanced student that mm -hmm. I was actually teaching myself another skill. That's true. That's what I'm hearing there. I love this. All right, so is this what we can kind of expect from your show? Just lots of fun tricks? Yes, lots of fun tricks. Also, uh, it's all about the um, the impact that yo-yos have had on American childhood for the past century. It's really a, a fascinating story of how the yo-yo sort of took over America in the 1920s and then all the way through the century. I love this. So we get to learn and see some cool tricks. Absolutely. I know you mentioned you kind of fell in love with the yo-yo at 10. Yes. So if anybody is watching and they are like, this is so cool, I want to start doing yo-yo, what's your advice? Well, uh, first you just got to get yourself a yo-yo and practice. Uh, the magic of yo-yo is that uh, you can learn any trick just with practice. And it's, a, it's an amazing reminder that that applies to anything in life, you know? Yeah. Uh, practice, uh, practice allows you to do the impossible. I'm going to keep practicing so that the next time you come visit us, I can actually do the around the world instead of the loop-de-loop. -loop. So I'm going to take that advice because you are absolutely incredible. This has been so much fun. Thank you so much for stopping in on Midday. And, of course, you guys have the chance to see Brian in action, too. He will be performing at the South Carolina New Play Fest. He'll be at Falls Park Stage tomorrow at 3 and 5.30 and again on Sunday at 5 and 7.30. Tickets are not needed, so you can go and you can see this. It's going to be so much fun. Of course, you can find more information on on our website at foxcarolina.com.